new contact bearing. One, two, four. Designated Sierra, two. G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to Cold Waters with Mags and welcome once again back to the USS Grayling. So we have new orders. A US ballistic missile submarine is departing Holy Lock and heading for the deep waters of the North Atlantic Ocean. We've been tasked with running a patrol across the GIUK gap, following the edge of the continental shelf and sinking any Russian boats we come across that could potentially intercept our boomer. I hope you enjoy. I'm not actually convinced this is a submarine to be perfectly honest. I think Yep, it's a troller. Con sonar, Sierra one is classified as Alright, let's drop that toad array out. I actually haven't deployed it just yet, and let's see what we have here. This is much quieter, much harder to detect. And looking very much like an alpha. Con sonar, Sierra 2 is classified as submerged submarine. Alright, it is an alpha and it is at approximately 400 feet, give or take. Current estimated range has it at 6.9 kiloyards. It's actually really close. That's at a 66% solution. Right, so I'm going to make a 5 degree turn to port. Right, to starboard rather. Just have to be careful because we do have the total ray out. And as I mentioned in a previous stream, oh in a previous video rather, stream. Um, this is... At least in uh, in Epic Mod, it was possible to damage the toad array by dragging it across the screw, which can happen in real life. Generally, you want to retract the toad array before you make a turn, but if we keep it nice and gentle, we should... Yeah, it seems to be keeping clear. We could probably do a 10 degree turn, and we'd be fine. Alright, so the main reason why I'm doing this at the moment is I want to try and get our screw behind the hull of our submarines so the Alpha can't hear us. The Alpha hasn't got great equipment on board. Its passive and active sonar is kind of trash. And the Sturgeon is quiet, so I want to make sure the Alpha here doesn't detect us and we can get around behind her and have a good look around to make sure she is alone. She does appear to be alone at the moment without her realizing we're here and there she is there she is good looking submarine these all right so redeploying the toad array we've managed to complete the turn and the alpha is turning away from us which is good see changing speeds Yes, you just jumped to 26 knots. What are you doing? 30 knots? She is diving deep too. She's at 8.2 kiloyards. She shouldn't have heard me. Just in case though. Depth zero feet. No, I don't want to know what am I doing. Make depth one five. Go to hundred feet. feet. Let's go a little higher than that. Bring it up to fifty feet. Make depth five zero feet. Die by. And to bring us up into the duct, and then I'm gonna fire two torpedoes. We haven't heard anything else at this point in time, so I think it might just be the alpha out here hunting on her own. So we'll stick ourselves above the, uh... There we go, that'll do. So we're above the duct, we're in the above the thermal layer in the duct at the moment. So she shouldn't be able to hear this. Hopefully she's just... Shoot two, one. 
Aye, sir. Doing alpha things. Shoot tube two. Aye, sir. Alright, tube two out. Alright, now let's set our depth. Back to 150 and stay nice and quiet. I don't know what would have set her off. If she had fully detected us, she'd start pinging away active. And she'd be making a racket, but she's... You know, she'd be trying to counter fire on us, but she's not doing anything like that. All right, we're going to run these parallel now. A little bit further over. All right, at the very least, we could turn it over this way. The idea here is now, as each of these are closed on the Alpha, if the Alpha does detect the torpedoes and decide to counter fire. The closer the torpedoes get, the higher the angle is going to be away from the sturgeon, even though we're firing from a relatively close path to what the torpedoes are travelling on. Yeah, I'm not sure what she's done. Why is she doing that? Hopefully she'll slow down and turn back, otherwise we're going to have trouble catching her. So, well, not a minute after I said it, the Alpha has slowed down and has started making her turn. So we have one torpedo coming in for the baffles, and one torpedo that's going to be the lead. She's back to six knots. So yeah, that was just a quick acceleration, burst out of the area in case she's in trouble, and go back to listening and trying to work out what's going on. So she may do this a couple of times over yet. But she doesn't appear to be aware of the fact of where we are. She is deep, though. She's down at a thousand feet. Alright, she's playing with the speeds again, so I'm going to start an attack on these now. She's turning hard. So Torpedo 1's about to go live, Torpedo 2's about to go live. I'm going to bring two in from the side. 25 minutes on. Yep, she's accelerating out. 33 knots. Alright, torpedoes active. Taking manual control of two. And diving to depth. Because she's accelerated to 37 knots, she actually will not be able to hear these torpedoes cr uh, clearly. Doing the same thing again with Torpedo 1 coming in from the rear. Matching depth and putting it straight in the baffles. She's turned in just the right angle to give me a screw. So we'll put that right on a screw. Right, and I want to keep Torpedo 2 as close to in front of her as we possibly can before I turn it in so she runs into it. I don't want her to run past it and have two chasing torpedoes. At the moment she's not dropping countermeasures or doing anything else so she might still be unaware. At 41 knots she can't hear Jack. Her... What's her detection? She's at negative 36, negative 50 at the moment. So yeah, she's deaf as a post running at that speed. 
So she may be completely unaware of the fact that she's getting zeroed in by two torpedoes at this point. Nope, nope, she knows now. She turned. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Right, two has acquired. We're going to adjust one. Con, sonar, Sierra, two, is cavitating. Yeah, she's heading up. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, one. Yeah, noisemakers are out. She knows she's under attack. She's moving so fast, Torpedo One's still having trouble catching her, but the, our torpedoes are faster. They can do better than uh, 41. I think they do 45 to 50 knots in this, somewhere around there. So it's slow closing the distance, but they will close the distance. It's just a matter of time, and at the moment we still have 11 minutes on the clock. Bearing. One, five, five. And she's making so much noise. Con, fire control, weapon countermeasure. All right, one has acquired. She's making so much noise that the torpedoes here are pretty much completely ignoring her countermeasures. It's all going to be about the maneuver, and she's going to maneuver hard. Oh, and she got past it. Nicely done. Consonar, Even with a bit of manual bearing, assistance, I one, couldn't five, pick her up then. Con, fire control, weapon countermeasure homing. And I've lost her. Torpedo one's still homing though, so she can't be far away. Con, fire control, there we go. Weapon Two's fire. picked her back up. So she has to be in here. She's about there. I'll keep the mouse cursor over where I expect she is. Con sonar, noise yep, there she is. Bearing. One, five, seven. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Two's reacquired. Con, fire control. Con sonar, lost contact. Sierra, two. Last bearing, one. All five, right. Five. Torpedo hit. Up. All right. So, mission report. USS Grayling, SSN 646. One Alpha sunk, 3,680 tons. We fired two Mark 48s in this mission. One hit, one did not. That's fine. We have 10 remaining on board. Let's see whether or not this was our target. All right, that was. Happy to hear about your recent success, Commander. I know a certain boomer skipper who owes your crew a few rounds. Wait further orders on this downlink. So this is a pretty straightforward one, just sink the Alpha. I would have expected more than that, but then again, that was a rare and valuable submarine, so that is perfectly fine. And Navy Commendation Medal to Commander Hugh Jass, Commanding Officer, USS Grayling, SSN 646. For meritorious service while serving as Commanding Officer of the USS Grayling, SSN 646, Hugh Jass's numerous accomplishments, inspiring leadership, and steadfast devotion to duty are keeping with the highest traditions of the United States Naval Service. Convoys making it through. Incidents involving attacks on transatlantic convoys by hostile submarines in and around the Baltic Sea have not been as numerous as initially anticipated. An anonymous spokesperson suggested NATO submarine operations in the area is a, cont a contributing factor. However, the Pentagon has denied such claims. Anyways, ladies and gents, I'm going to keep this one a short one today. Hope you enjoyed it, and thank you very much for watching. Cold Waters will, of course, be returning on Monday, and until next time, remember to click that like button if you did, share and subscribe if you want to see more, and as always, take care.